This is Star Talk. All right, James Claver wants to know this. Uh, he's from Bangor, Michigan. He says, I've been reading your book, Death by Black Hole. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a fan favorite, book, yeah. Death by Black Hole. And you mentioned that scientists knew there were holes in the periodic table well before they were discovered. I'm just wondering, how did they know? Maybe a brief history of how they were originally organized. So we know these tables. We know that there's gaps. How do they know there's gaps? Yeah, so I, I'd love me some periodic table. Mm -hmm. Just I, I can't get enough periodic table, just so you know. Gotcha. So, so, so once you learn how to organize the elements, which is what um, uh, Mendeleev figured out, okay. a Russian scientist. Right. right? Uh, he, once you do that, if you arrange them by how many protons are in their nucleus, very simple way to, okay, That's how many protons? Simple, right. Just how many count, protons count you the got? Protons. You got four, then you're over here. You got five, go next to four. You got seven, skip one. Do we have six yet? No, not, well, actually, we did have six. Six is carbon. But um, do we have eight? Oh, that, that's oxygen. Like, give me a hard one. Do you have nine? Right. If, and if no, we don't have it yet, but we got ten. So ten go in your ten slot. Right. Well, who's where's nine? We don't have it yet. Well, get get off your ass and find me some nine. That's and it. so this th these are how we you establish the gaps in the periodic table. The periodic table is complete from one up to one hundred and what are we up to one hundred and ten or twelve or something. So it's not like you're going to discover some other element that's going to pry right, itself. That's gonna, right, because there's no nine point seven. There's no nine point seven. Correct. Some aspects of science are complete. Just that's it. We, that's how it is. That's why it's a beautiful thing. And it's a record of discovery over the centuries. Mm -hmm. And I, I love it. So uh, now, for, for example, the element. We we discovered an element on the sun before we discovered it here on Earth. Okay. And we named it after the sun, the S sun god Helios. Helium. Which became helium. Which is m a lot of that in the sun. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like ten per about 10% of yeah. it is made of helium. Yeah. And we're running out of it on Earth. On Earth. That's right. That's right. And so helium is not uncommon in the universe. And because we keep filling like Thanksgiving Day balloons with helium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, in the old days, they would let it escape right. and then regenerate the helium. But uh, now they recapture it, I I've been told. after Okay. Because Macy's is the second biggest consumer of helium in the world. Get out of yeah, here. After the U.S. military. And uh, yeah, Helium has very special properties, not all of which I can divulge. Get out. Really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, like making you talk funny? Because that, <laughs> that's that happens that's too. The best. Not one. a secret. Not a secret. Oh, okay. Because yeah, okay. that's the best one, by the <laughs> way. Mm -hmm. There's an element that was missing, and we did the calculation after quantum physics was discovered, and we noticed that that element is unstable. So even if it was ever in the universe, it would have decayed into something right. else by now. Yes. So it would be like a permanent gap. Gotcha. Never, anything that was there was not there now. So right. we said, well, okay. Let's just make it, make the stuff. So we manufactured an element to fit in the gap, and we named it after ourselves. We named it after technology. It's called technetium. Technetium. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. And, of course, because we made it, it can't last. <laughs> Plus, we named it tech. I mean, yeah, tech, means, tech means, like, means artificial. Yeah. And, in fact, technetium is a, is a very active uh, tool potent tool for the radiologist because you you can set it up in ways that have different half lives gotcha. six hours or ten hours oh. and you can do experiments with you know your 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 circulatory system uh, by tracking the radioactivity and if small amounts are okay if it can right and you can trace it as it moves as, as it moves and the half life it, and, and, it, it'll go away and, and, and you don't have you, to worry you're about done. it you leave the hospital you're done right yeah that is brilliant I was once in a hospital with one of my radiation detectors, which I occasionally carry, and only you would make someone, that <laughs> someone sat down next to me <laughs> in the waiting room, and the, the alarm started going off. And I looked to the person. I said, "Okay, what what are you in for?" Right. Well, what, they just did a they just did a radioactive dye test on right. him, and he was still radioactive. For, as he would be for the next few hours. So I, I so I moved to another chair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Star Talk.